In the early 1970s, Britain's towns and inner cities were engulfed in rising street violence. The streets of Newcastle became a battleground for teenage rebellion, with Crombie wearing, Dr. Martin booted, reggae loving skinhead gangs marking their territories with graffiti and constantly seeking fights with rival groups. In 1971, the Chronicle identified some of Newcastle's most notorious skinhead gangs the Big Lamp Agro Boys, New Biggin Hall Agro Boys, Blakelaw Agro Boys, and Scottswood Agro Boys. These gangs were primarily made up of 15 and 16 year old boys who wore their identity proudly and saw confrontation as part of their daily lives. Across the Tyne in Gateshead, a major clash erupted in Saltwell Park. Around 100 skinheads and greasers had gathered, ready for a battle between the High Street and Saltwell Road gangs. Tensions were high as the rival groups squared off, but the police, having received a tip-off, moved in at the last moment. Dog units were dispatched, and officers rushed into the park to break up the gangs before the violence could escalate further. The scene was chaotic. As some teenagers fled, clambering over the park's iron fences, they were met by circling motor patrol cars and police vans. Officers grabbed skinheads and bundled them into overcrowded police minivans. One skinhead, angry at the police intervention, yelled out, It was going to be a 50-50 fight between Saltwell Road and High Street, but we'll be back. Those who were arrested were later charged with causing a breach of the peace, but the conflict in Saltwell Park marked just one episode in the ongoing violence that was spreading across the region. Fifty years later, those once teenage gang members are now in their mid-sixties. What was once a daily reality of gang violence in Tyneside is now a chapter in British social history. The skinhead gangs of the 1970s may be remembered for their intense rivalries and the fear they caused, but today they stand as part of the broader story of youth culture, identity and rebellion in that era. This was another episode of Skinhead Stories from Skinhead History. Visit us at skinheadhistory.com.